What up though y'all, this is All Hustle No Cap. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing y'all how to price y'all services in the photo booth business. But before we get into it, you know I need you to hit that like button, the subscribe button, and the notification bell. And don't forget to follow me on IG as well. All that shit makes the channel go up and I appreciate the love. All right, so we're gonna jump right into it. So everybody keep asking me how much I be pricing my shit for my photo booth business. And really you asking the wrong question because the real question is how much can you price your shit for? Because everybody's shit not gonna be the same. And to be honest, what it really boils down is to how saturated your area is. So nine times out of 10, you already know if your area is saturated or not. But if you don't, a quick Google search will turn up the answer to that. Now, if you don't live in a saturated area, you might be good. If it ain't too many people that's already out there doing it, you can kind of set the market rate for your area. So be careful with it and make sure you don't price yourself too low. Matter of fact, that's my pet peeve, people pricing themselves too low. Now the photo booth game is crazy because there's a lot of people jumping in this that don't have no kind of business sense. They just got that PPP loan and they ran with it. And it ain't nothing wrong with furthering your hustle, but don't jump in the game and fuck the game up. By pricing your stuff too low, you end up hurting the whole market. And really, to be honest with you, with all the equipment and all the money we spent, it's too much work to be doing this stuff for a little bit of money. So make sure you keep your prices at a decent level. My best advice would be to set your prices aligned with what your competition is doing. When you start enough, you don't really want to be too much higher than them, but you definitely don't want to be too much lower than them. A lot of times when people jump in business, they got a tendency to want to be the cheapest in the business, but that's not what's up, bro. So I guess the next logical question is, how the fuck do I know what the competition is charging? Well, I'm going to show y'all a little outside the box trick I use to figure out what the competition is charging across multiple businesses, but we're going to apply it to the photo booth business today. Now, if you look online, a lot of people don't show their prices, but I'm going to show y'all how I figure out what they're charging. The best way to find out what your competition is charging is to call them and act like a customer. So I'm going to show y'all right now how I do that shit. Hello, I was uh, reaching out to see if you guys had a 360 photo booth rental. We sure do. What day do you need it for? Um, I know it's last minute, but do you have any availability this weekend? Oh, uh, yeah. We're totally booked for the weekend. Oh, I understand. You guys get booked pretty often. Uh, man, we trying to keep up. We trying to keep up. It sounds like a wonderful well, um, business, bro. Um... What do you charge per hour? I'm just curious. Um, it really just depends on the size that you, the size booth you're getting, anywhere from 300 to 500 an hour. 300 to 500 an hour. Mm -hmm. How how often how far out do I have to schedule in advance if I want to book with you guys? Uh, it's first come first serve, so um, typically we got it available. We'll go ahead and book it. All right. Well, I appreciate it, man. I'll be in touch with you. Anytime. I'm DeAndre. If you have any questions, feel free to give me a call. All right, bro. Thank you. Anytime. Yep. So as you can see, it's pretty easy to figure out that information. I would do that with like two or three businesses and take those numbers to figure out the average. Now, hopefully the average price that you get is a good price and it's a decent price. But if you live in an oversaturated city like me, then you might need to get a little creative with your pricing. See, in Detroit, where I'm at, they cheap. They wear Gucci hats and drink 1942, but they really cheap. I mean, they cheap as hell here. Dealing with Detroit customers be like, Yeah, ain't soda. One dollar. Oh, come on now. Look out for a brother, man. Come on. Hey, check this out. Why don't you let me get a sip for 15 cents? My cups cost more than 15 cents. All right, fuck the cup. Pour them in my hand for a dime. So since I had to set my base price so low here, the way I combat that is by having add-ons. That means I charge extra for everything, such as my overlays, my red carpet, the cold spark machine, the RGB lights, all the props, everything I got is extra. These add-ons help me raise the price of my event on average by $150 per event. I don't know what the psychology is behind it, but for some reason they don't mind spending extra money when they think the original price is low. Now, if you live in a less saturated area, maybe you want to include some of that stuff. Because the more things you bring, the more lively the event is, the more fun they have but it really just depends on the area you in. Another piece of advice I would give you is to adjust your price accordingly over time. If you find yourself getting booked up every single weekend and it's getting hectic, maybe that's a sign that your price is too low and you should raise it. And if you've been out here a while and you're not getting any traction, maybe your price is a little too high and maybe you should lower it and reevaluate what the average is in your area. So as you can see, you gotta do a little bit of legwork to figure out what you should charge in your area. Just please don't be that guy that's out there talking about, I'm gonna do that shit for $100 an hour, cause that's fucking dumb. If y'all found this video helpful, please again, hit the like button, the subscribe button, the notification bell, and don't forget to follow the IG page. But before we go, I wanna ask y'all a question. For those of y'all that are up and running, what are y'all charging for y'all services per hour? 
Let me know in the comment section below. All right, y'all, it's been real. I want to thank y'all for watching. Peace.